Now, therefore, be it resolved that this Honorable House extends the proclamation declaring a state of emergency in certain parts of Belize City and certain parts of the Cayo District made by the Governor General on the 24th of June, 2024, for a period of two months. This motion, Madam Speaker, has the recommendation of the Cabinet. And by way of explanation, Madam Speaker, we have arrived at a point where decisions, swift and certain, must be made to ensure that our Belize remains on track to be the best country in which to grow up and raise a family. We cannot do that in a country where a few feel that they have the power and impetus to wreak havoc on our streets, planting seeds of fear in the minds and hearts of hardworking and law-abiding citizens of our country. Belize is certainly not a state where lawlessness, more especially that which leads to the senseless loss of life, reigns supreme. We are even more certain that we will not allow any corner of our country to fall into a state of normalized lawlessness. Opening fire on a mother and child exiting their vehicle or the elderly men riding on bicycles is not normal. Blazing bullets in the dead of night at a police station is not normal. And most certainly, shooting a barrage of bullets into the home of a senior public servant, the commissioner of police, no less, is not the Belizean way. These wayward activities will not be countenanced, will not be tolerated, and will not be condoned.